what it is. One Dhamma at the end of a noun of a female and two Dhammas at the end of the noun of a man. But the real reason is, brother, okay, that later on we will learn that Aminatu does not decline as Muhammadun. Are you with me? Okay. It does not decline. Normal way. Huh? Now I'm sure you are strong. You have understood that dun dan din business. Okay. So we say Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin, Khalidun, Khalidan, Khalidin, Hamidun, Hamidan, Hamidin. How about Amina? Aminatu. Next one, Aminata. And next one, Aminata again. It will not take Kasra. Huh? Even when it is Majroor, huh, brother? Even if it is Majroor, brother Muhammad, it will still show Fatah. Now, this is something new. I will be repeating it many times. So, inshallah, you will understand it. The thing that you should keep it in mind, two things, brother. Hmm? I'm writing in English first. Later on, we'll switch on to the Arabic. Huh? If the noun, if it declines completely in three cases, uh, which is marfu, mansu, and majrur properly, dun, dhan, then properly, we say it is triptote. What do we say, brother? Trip. Tot. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We say it is triptote. And then the noun that declines, but not fully, we call it what do you call it? Diptote. Okay, I'll explain again. Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin. Complete declension. Are you with me, brother? Marfu, Mansu, Majroor, proper Dhamma, Fata, and Kasra. Come to Amina. It is Aminatu, Aminata, and again Aminata. It did not decline fully. It Decline a little bit and stopped. Are you with me, brother? Aminatu. Aminata. And again, Aminata. So we call it Diptot. Okay? These are the terms which the Western scholars of Oriental, Western scholars of Arabic, they have given from English language point of view. That this noun is, if I say the noun is triptote, it means it declines fully. Are you with me? Kitabun, kitaban, kita, bin, bin. Bun, ban, bin. Are you with me? But when you come to Zainabu, Zainaba, and again, Zainaba again. Why? Because the noun is diptote. Are you with me? That's just a bit. Okay. I had a very big class. And you know, in sometimes a big class, there's a lot of di disturbance. And uh, people sometimes uh, are dis disturbed. And they do not listen properly. They don't understand. I was explaining this. Then the brother raised his hand. And I said, he says, Brother Asif, could you please tell me what is this tip top? I said, brother, this is not a tip-top tailor here. <laughs> it is trip-tote. It's not tip-top, but it is trip-tote. Huh? You know, he, he somehow got the idea that I was saying the nouns are tip-top. 
Anyway, I thought it was very cute, you know. Anyway, so when it is stripped toed, brother and sister, it means it declines fully. Dun dan din. And when it is dip toed, it goes to dun, then dan, then stays at a dan. But we will still call it majroor. And that we will learn soon, inshallah. Okay, we'll learn soon, inshallah. So, brother, are you, are you now familiar with these two columns? Uh, Sister Salma, they are clear. Sister Abir, Sister Naima, Sister Mamuna, is it clear, inshallah? Brother uh, Farooq, clear? Abdul Qadir, inshallah. Hmm? See, we always say Aisha, we have a sister Aisha. But then she is Aisha too. Are you with me? She is? Aisha too. We have sister Fatima. But when you write it, it is Fatima too. But again, they, both of them are diptoed. Okay? They are both diptoed. Okay? Fine. 